Hi, my name is Jordan Pollock and I'm a professor at Brandeis University and uh, I was asked by Dave Weinberger's daughter to talk about the future of the internet at the Berkman at 10 celebration and um, a friend of mine Bob Metcalf got in trouble for predicting the doom and the end of the internet I think in uh, the early 90s and it never came to pass and it was one of his predictions which failed and yesterday Jonathan Zittrain also predicted with the cover of his book that it was going off the rails that every good uh, voluntary generative organization essentially gets invaded by uh, by evil dark side dark siders who uh, use spam or who who violate protocol who become antisocial and bring things down I'm much more optimistic I actually believe that we're moving into an era where our own computers and mobile devices are on 24 by 7 with enough bandwidth with enough storage that we can essentially take control of our, over our own communications our own interactions and open up channels between people people that know each other and transfer information that's that's using peer-to-peer -peer, not expressly for the purpose of theft but for the purpose of private communication as guaranteed under our First Amendment. Is it First Amendment or Second Amendment? First Amendment. Yeah, that's what I thought. Second has to do with guns or something. Anyway, and, uh, and I also believe there's a great future uh, for educating the world over the network as more and more kids get their mobile phones or their calculators online or even one laptops the opportunity for educational knowledge to spread uh, is greater and greater. And so I tend to be very optimistic that with uh, increasing power, bandwidth, storage, and peer-to-peer uh, -peer protocols that we'll be free from the spying, the intrusion, the, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 corporate, the corporate laws that try to trap us into using their products and so forth as we move into the future. Thank you very much.